Okay, I would like to do a demonstration for public education. Heavyhead. I live in southern Alberta and I'm going to show you the most aggressive snake in our region. This is him. This is the most aggressive honorary, upset, pissed off, angry, ready to bite snake that we have in the region of southern Alberta and northern Montana. This is what's called a bull snake. This snake eats rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes, the prairie rattlesnake, the species that we have here, is far, far less aggressive than this snake here that I have in my hands. I want to show you this to demonstrate that you are in no danger of any snake that you encounter in southern Alberta. The only way you're going to be in any danger of a snake is if you try to hurt it. This snake, when I first picked him up about 20 minutes ago from the backyard of somebody's house, he was hissing, he was upset, he was showing his fangs and everything, and it was okay, I was still holding him. Um, I have yet to get bit by a bull snake, but I have been bitten by snakes of this family, and they do give a bloody, a bloody wound, um, but they don't envenomate, per se, like a rattlesnake. Um, but far in the, uh, you know, far more often, if you're going to get bit by anything, it's going to be this guy. This guy is a biter. Rattlesnakes are not biters. If you come across a rattlesnake, it's going to rattle at you because it's scared. It's not because it's mean. It's not because it's mad or anything like that. It's because it's scared. This guy um, is going to bite you as a defensive mechanism as well. Instead of the rattle, this guy has his bite. His bite, um, he has a, a number of little teeth. They're all pointed backward in his mouth. And those little teeth are like, you know, they're like little razors. And they cut into you. And you will bleed if you get bit by this guy. But you will not suffer any, you know, real trauma or anything like that. Um, as far as rattlesnakes go here, uh, if you happen to actually touch the rattlesnake, it's going to bite you. If you get really close to touching the rattlesnake, it might bite you. If you step on it, it it's probably going to bite you. But if you're, you know, 10 inches away from it, the likelihood is it's not going to bite you. If it does bite you, you're going to get swelled up on the arm or leg, wherever it bites you. Um, you're going to be swollen for a couple of days, and then the swelling's going to go down. You're going to be okay. There is nothing in southern Alberta, in as far as uh, venomous um, snakes or insects, that is going to kill you unless you have an allergy to them. There was a police chief in Tabor some years back that died because he got bit by a rattlesnake. There was a little girl. Um, along the Milk River riding, st riding on stone, camped there with her parents who came close <coughs> to meeting her end at, uh, because of a rattlesnake. But for the most part, you got nothing to worry about. Um, I, for one, obviously am very comfortable with snakes. Um, I think they can completely sense who I am, what I'm about. This is a completely wild snake. The first time he's ever been held in his life was 30 minutes ago when I picked him up. Um, this is not as big as he's going to get. He's going to get about five or six feet in his uh, later years. Um, I'm going to let him go within the next day or so to go and, and be um, a bull snake. I'm privileged to have this opportunity to be with him for this short period of time there's really not very many bull snakes that I know of on the west side of Lethbridge um, so I feel that I'm lucky to have gotten 
the opportunity to make his acquaintance. I'm going to feed him a mouse, you know, fill his tummy, then I'm going to let him go. Um, so yeah, I just want to put this out there to show you all that snakes are not as evil as they're made out to be. There's nothing to worry about. This is a completely wild snake. This snake has not been, this is probably a three-year-old uh, bull snake. He's not been handled in all his life. And look at how easygoing he is. He's not biting me. He's not hissing. He's not upset. He was at first, um, but he quickly got used to being held. He recognized that I'm not someone that's going to hurt him. And this is how he is. All he wants to do is go back to being a bull snake. So that's what I have to share. I just wanted to show this as another example. This is a wild prairie rattlesnake about the same age as the bull snake that I just showed. This snake has no interest in hurting me. I have no interest in hurting him. We both know it. We're both comfortable with that. This snake is incredibly feared and for absolutely no reason other than that he's poisonous. In reality, he is far less the aggressive snake than the bull snake that I just showed. If you make him comfortable, if you let him know that you're not interested in hurting him, he's not going to be interested in hurting you. Of course, you have to know snakes. This snake can read my mind. He knows if I'm afraid. He's a little bit more, more afraid than I am. But if he re registers in me that I'm afraid, he's going to get afraid, and there's a chance that I can get hurt. And it's only because he's afraid for his life. It's not because he has any interest in harming me. So, this is the prairie rattlesnake. Again, not as terrible a demon as so many make him out to be.